Prayer Book of the Disciples Chapter 1 In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. This is the discourse concerning the twelve disciples, as Jesus taught them by what they are to be saved from sin. And to you also we shall tell, by what ye will be saved from every sin and from every evil thing and from the imprecation of men. And by this be ye saved from every enemy and the poison of the serpent, and from everything that has poison which kills soul and body, and from every disease and infirmity of the body and breaking of bones, and, by which they will be saved, from malediction and curse, and from all keepers of magic. And by this thou, O Lord, hast saved them from all power of the enemy, and it is told in this book that the disciples conquered, and subdued Satan and cast him out, lest he approach them, and that they shall be saved from every evil, from calamity and from the demon of noontide, and that they were saved from the chastisement of kings and princes, and by which they shall be saved, they cooled off their wrath like water. And by this all creatures feared them. And by this they have found grace with all human creatures. And by this their throne has become honored and exalted, and by this they were saved from the flame of fire. And by this their face shone like the sun before all people, heathen and Christians. And here is told everything that has been done unto the twelve disciples, and by this, namely the names of Christ. And everybody who believes and invokes, and reads these names, by these names of Christ let him be saved from sin and from all bad and wicked and treacherous men, and from all row, disease us of soul and body, and from all demons and evil spirits. And Satan shall be driven out, and he shall not approach him who keeps these words, nor touch his dwelling, but that man's power shall be strong as a rock and his voice shall be heard as the voice of a lion. And his face shall shine, like the sun, and he shall find grace with all people, and his throne shall be exalted, and his honor shall be greater than that of all men, and no creature on earth shall overcome him, and all men shall fear, and tremble before his face, he shall defeat and subdue the power of all his enemies, and he shall be like the twelve disciples. Chapter 2 Teachings of Christ concerning his name and Jesus rose amongst them, and he blessed them with the sign of the cross. Jesus spoke and said unto them, Listen to me, to my word and my command, and I will give unto you all desire of your hearts, you my servants and you my friends and you my heirs. And I have selected you from all human creatures, and I have given you power that ye may raise the dead by the true faith, and heal all the sick by the Holy Spirit. And make ye Satan as dry grass before the wind, and he shall be cast out by your prayer, and his power shall be broken, and he shall flee and be ashamed, before you. And I have not given to others what I have given to you, my truly beloved, you whose light shall not be extinguished forever, and whose joy shall not cease for generation and generation. And the disciples of Jesus Christ said unto him, Truly hast thou spoken in thy word, O Lord, who hast said all this, for it will prevent us from being conquered by any man. If thou, O Lord, art with us and if we believe in thee, give us, O Lord, that we may invoke thy holy and blessed name. And again Jesus Christ spoke to his disciples and said unto them, Be not afraid, but admonish all people. For there is nobody who can make you tremble or judge and kill you, if ye observe my word. I shall not be far from you at any time. And I love you like myself, and I will rejoice you with my grace and kindness, and I will give you all life and salvation of your souls. Thereupon he showed unto them the mystery of the new world, he revealed unto them and told them his secret name. And he said, If ye can invoke this my name, ye shall be saved from sin, and from all power of the enemy. And he who invokes this my name like you, shall be saved and not be confounded, for ever and ever. Thus save me, O Lord, me, thy servant Gabra Georgis, be merciful and gracious unto me, and from all sin and from seduction of Satan and from all evil, and, preserve me, thy servant Gabra Georgis. And he ascended on a mountain with his disciples, and a shining cloud came and covered them. And Jesus wrote his holy names and gave them to his disciples and said unto them, Take what I give you, and it shall bring you grace and life and salvation. And they took this book, sealed as it was, and said to Jesus, But we cannot open this book, O our Lord and Master, only thou canst open it. Again Jesus said to his disciples, Thus they shall not be able to make you tremble or to conquer you, anyone who has power, either men or the evil demons, who seduce mankind because of the power of these my names. But ye shall conquer all men, and ye shall destroy and subdue all power of the enemy and of the evil and unclean spirits. But your own power shall not weaken, because of my power and strength. And now, who among you has the power of faith, shall open this book. And he laid his hand on Peter's head and blessed him and gave him power to open this book and its treasures were opened and disclosed. And when they saw that the book was opened, they rejoiced exceedingly. Thereupon they praised and lauded and blessed Jesus Christ's name and adored his throne, and marveling at this they prayed to him. 
And they said among themselves, Today we have seen a wonderful miracle, the like we have not seen before. And again Jesus Christ said unto his disciples, Take from this once more and keep this my word, and my speech, and do not corrupt it, know ye, I have spoken unto you, contemplate and learn and think that ye may be saved from temptation and sin. For great and honored is this my speech, and this my name. And after that Jesus told them his names, and said unto them, A means amazing. Sarah means great. Demahel means strong. Akbatter means rich. Abiator means merciful. Maniator means chastiser. Ananal means forgiver. Kenya means wise. Jin means rich. Lika means judge. Sega means all embracing. Segunoi means all creator. 7. Latanoi means he does not delay. Ail means he is feared by all. Emmanuel means imperishable. Afrakel means savior. Marion means all preserver. Manator means all keeper. L, L, L means judge of all. Eco means all sufferer. Elev means all bearer. Pato means rejoicer. Hito means healer of all ill. Yo means true, upright. Sabat means clement. Af means humble. Afekro means patient. Lahe, Lahe, Lu means pure of all sin. Mastodios means righteous. Afar, Afar, Afar means giver and taker. Afrian means tremble to the word. Afranada means king of kings. Lahan, Lahan, Lahan means god of gods. Ural means judge of judges. And there is no other god besides him in heaven above, and on earth below, one god is he, Jesus Christ, Sabbat, holy, 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 immortal, from now and forever and ever, amen. And after Jesus had finished, telling his names again, Jesus said to his disciples, Go and teach and preach in my name. Heal the lepers by this my name, cast out the demons by this my name, and ye will be saved from this power of the malignant demons. Close their mouths by this my name, and ye will be saved from the fire eater by this my name, and ye will find full favor and perfect grace with all peoples of the earth and with the kings by this my name. And there is nobody, who shall be able to overpower you, all creatures shall fear, and tremble and be afraid of your voice, and all unclean spirits shall be driven away. And when you lay this my name on somebody, speak thus, Give us, O Lord, by the power of these thy names full favor, and perfect grace with all people, let all living beings fear us, and let them tremble before our voice. And by the power of these thy names may the Satans be driven away and not approach me and may they not touch my soul or my body, thy servant. Georgius Chapter 3 Healing of Sick People and Driving Out of Demons And the twelve disciples went into all countries to kings and rulers. And they said unto them, Believe in the Lord the God of all flesh, that ye learn and believe. And if ye believe us, ye shall be saved by this name of our Saviour. All people said among one another, Pray, tell us how your faith is, and pray, he'll be sick. And if ye have faith, we shall believe in your God. And the disciples said unto all people, Come and see, and bring all sick and diseased, that we may heal them by the grace of God. And the twelve disciples read these names of God, and while they were praying, heaven was opened unto them, and they saw it open. And when they had seen it open, then they rejoiced greatly, and their faces shone brighter than the sun before all people. And all people feared them and were afraid of their voice, and all the sick were healed by these words. Thus heal me, thy servant. Georgius. And all the people believed in their words, and they said to them, Ye are truly the disciples of Jesus Christ. Ye are strong by the power of the Holy Spirit and in faith. And again they went to show the faith in this prayer, and they came to a place where many demons were assembled. And they prayed this prayer, and they invoked the names of God. And they took sand in their hands, and looked up lifting their eyes towards heaven. They united in prayer saying with one voice, Disperse, O Lord, all demons who beset us, by the power of these thy holy names close their mouth and destroy their power. And after they had said this, they cast the sand against them. And all unclean demons perished and were destroyed by these names of Christ, 7,140 demons, were dispersed. Thus disperse all demons and unclean spirits that beset me and that are stronger than I, thy servant, by the power of these thy name save me, O Lord, from all evil war and murder and the mouth of the enemy and the thrusting of lances and the flying of arrows and the throwing of stones, and from every man who devours and who 
is devoured, and from every man who inflicts plagues, and from every man who touches and who is touched with magical power, and from every strong man and oppressor, and from every deceiver and calumniator, and from every oppressor and violent man, and from every idol, Mari and Marit, and from every root and poison, and from every man who refiles and curses, and from all who eat flesh and drink blood, and from every enemy within and without, and from every man who o oh, kills the soul and every waylayer? and from every snake, and serpent having poison, which kills life, and from every wicked man who corrupts soul by soul, and from everything evil, which I have seen and heard and which I have not heard, within and without, far and near, and from every one who designs evil against me, save me, thy servant. O Lord, protect us from every disease and trouble and infirmity of soul and body, and from every disease of macrae, and colic and calamity and the demon of noontide, and the disease of lowlands and highlands. And from all this Jesus said, And every man who believes and reads these names, and is washed and purified by this prayer, it shall bring him perfect grace, and it shall be a subduer of enemies and an expeller of demons, and a salvation of the soul, and a purification of sin on the last day may it be such to thy servant. Chapter 4 Doings of the Disciples in Persia And after the twelve disciples had finished this work, then they went to all, the people of Persia, to preach and to speak and teach all people of Persia. They came to seventy-seven kings and rulers, and they stood up among them and said to them, Behold, our Lord has sent us to you that we speak unto you, and heal all your sick by the grace of Jesus Christ. And if ye believe, ye shall find life and salvation of your soul s. But if ye refuse to listen to our words and to our command, behold, God shall judge you in his wrath, and no one of the other gods in whom ye believe, shall save you. Thereupon all the people became O. Oh, angry and said to the twelve disciples, Ye being men like ourselves, by what power do ye heal the sick and cast out the demons by your word? Where is your God? Tell us clearly so that we may believe you. And there was a man among the people of Persia who believed in the name of Jesus Christ, whose name was Kyrus and whose wife, called Serk, was possessed by a demon. He fell down before the twelve disciples, and said unto them, Since I left my mother's womb I have believed in the name of Jesus Christ, and I have worshipped no other God. And ye are blessed. Truly ye are the disciples of Christ, who can endure and teach all people, and by your prayer truly all sick and diseased are healed, and by your word the unclean demons leave. And I believe in you myself. Come, and heal my wife, that all people may learn your faith. And the twelve disciples said to Kiros, Behold, be not afraid, O Kiros, believe in Christ. Behold thy wife shall be healed by the true word of faith. And they made her to sleep on her bed, and they all prayed over her and blessed her with their hands. And they said all together, In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, one God. And they read these names of God and said, Leave, evil demon, by the power of the names of Christ. And they stretched forth their hands together and looked up lifting their eyes, toward heaven. They asked and prayed, and said in unison, Give us, O Lord, by the power of these thy names, power and authority of the true faith by which we may heal all sick and make strong, and the disensoil. Give us, O Lord, by the power of these thy names power and authority of the true faith. Give us, O Lord, power by which we may cast out all demons and evil spirits. By the power of these thy names give us salvation and subduing of the enemy by the true faith, and perfect grace with all peoples and kings and rulers of the earth, life and salvation on earth and in heaven. Give us spiritual penitence which turns us to thee all the days of our life. Give us the true faith and the holy prayer, which drives away all disease of soul and body may it be for everyone, and for thy servant and which foils the incantations and the doings of men, and purifies from sin and annihilates our trespasses and offenses, give us all that our heart asks, from thee. Give us strength and fearsome awe that we may enter and destroy the power of all our enemies and adversaries. Give us the true faith which seals the mouths and binds the tongues and closes the throats of all who slander us and speak evil against us. Give us the true faith which strengthens our loins and consolidates our hearts and makes strong our souls so that we are not afraid, day or night, of the wrath of kings and of rulers. Give us, O Lord, the true faith and the holy prayer that none who plan and do wrong may overpower us, destroy their plans and baffle the thoughts of their hearts and their counsels and paralyze what they speak with their tongues, and turn off what they speak with their mouths. Give us, O Lord, the true faith and the holy prayer by which the waylayers flee and escape. And as to those who kill the soul shatter, their shields and their spears, and may their bows and arrows be broken, give us wisdom and gentle knowledge, patience and spiritual humbleness, that we may learn and perceive how Satan shall not seduce us nor make us fall into the pit of sin. Give us strong help and hope, amen. And by the true faith let us find reward with thee on the day of compensation and on the day of judgment, then may thy grace find us.
Before thee let us find eternal joy and everlasting bliss, and let us be satisfied with the blessing of thy house in safety and peace after the evil days. Give us the true faith and the holy prayer, by which the keepers of sorcery may not overpower us, the bash and foil there, witchcraft and destroy their power and shatter all their work. Give us the true faith and the holy prayer that we may not be overpowered by the blasphemers and slanderers, who curse us in the evening and in the morning, by sun and moonlight, on mountains and on hills, with praise and with incense touching the altar, and looking in the water and knocking on the ground, as to those who curse us by these things, do not hear them any wish of their hearts and do not accept their incense, and let their curse fall back upon their heads, and let them be rooted out forever and ever, Amen. Give us the true faith and the holy prayer, by which the evil gods cannot overpower us, destroy their idols and shatter their thrones. Give us the new light and enlighten the eyes of our hearts and remove the stumbling minus block from before our feet. And lead us on the right path and bring us where we wish to go in peace. Give us the true faith and the holy and profitable and quickening prayer. Make thy holy ghost come down from heaven, from thee, that it be a healing for all sick and diseased and bless with its fruit, our children for our generation and forever, Amen. Give us that all this which we have spoken with our mouths and our tongues may come to us from thy exalted dwelling in the sacred place of thy glory, this which we have asked thee, and we have prayed unto thee that our prayer may not be in vain. Help us soon today on this day. Give us the true faith, glory and wealth and perfect grace with all peoples and kings and rulers of the earth. As thou gatherest the clouds and sheddest the water on the face of the bee a coat of mail, and a protecting shield, like a hen that covers and shields her young under her wings, thus shield and protect me, under the cover of thy wings, with thy protecting shield, and with thy holy right hand, and with thy strong power protect me, against all thy punishment and thy wrath, and lead me out by thy fear, thy servant if it is thy will. Show thy power and thy authority today on this holy day, heal this woman soon that they may know us and know that we have the true faith and are truly thy disciples, and that thou hast created and shaped us, and that there is truly no other God beside thee, in heaven above and on ever, Amen. And after they had finished their prayer and their request, God heard them from heaven, his holy place, and gave to the twelve disciples all that their heart requested, and they breathed their spirit into her ear, and washed her with the water of prayer, and she became whole. And she rose straightway and fell down before them and exalted and rejoiced with great joy. But Satan left by the prayer of the twelve disciples, and thus they healed this woman. And likewise heal me, O Lord, from all disease of my soul and my body and keep away all demons from thy servant. And when all the kings and rulers and people saw that this woman was healed, one half of them, and ever amen. But those who believed were saved from all disease and trouble of their souls by these names of Christ. Thus save me and protect me, O Lord, by the power of these thy names, thy servant. For Jesus said, Everyone who believes and who invokes this my name, shall be saved and shall, not be confounded forever and ever. Thus let myself not be confounded, thy servant. And everyone who is, washed and cleansed by the prayer of the twelve disciples, shall not be approached by any power of evil or unclean spirits. Drive away all power of the enemy, and let him not inflict any disease or infirmity upon the soul and the body of thy servant. Thus, O Lord, save me by the power of these thy names. And by the prayer of thy holy disciples preserve my soul and my body, that of thy servant. And they set Kiros over all, even over two kings, and made him heir of their country. By what? By the prayer of the twelve disciples. And the people spoke among themselves, they saw and wondered and believed in the twelve disciples, and in Christ who had made powerful the prayer of the twelve disciples, and in Christ whose throne is glorious and exalted, and who is free from temptation, and subdues the power of all his enemies and adversaries. Thus save me, O Lord, from temptation, bless me and protect me, thy servant. By the power of these thy names exalt my throne, and humble and abash my enemies and adversaries, and crush them under the stool of my feet, of thy servant for ever and ever. Amen. Forty they said all who believe in the name of Christ, come, let us unite to extol these disciples of Christ, and let us destroy the gods and burn them with fire, and let us not worship any other gods besides theirs. And let us believe in their prayer that we may be saved from every chastisement of God's wrath, which burns and blazes heavier than a flame of fire. And they gathered their gods and burned them with fire, and all their gods perished, and none among them was saved. Thus make perish, O Lord, all demons and evil spirits who eat flesh and drink blood, who crush the bones and seduce the children of men, drive them away, O Lord, by the power of these thy names, and by the prayer of thy holy disciples, from thy servant. And they were converted to the Lord God. 
and they were saved by the prayer of the twelve disciples, and became good and compassionate people, and their generations were blessed for ever and ever. Amen. Thus bless me, O Lord, by the power of these thy names, and by the prayer of the twelve disciples. Preserve me and protect me, thy servant for ever and ever. Amen. Chapter 5 Doings of the Disciples in Sodom and Gomorrah And after that the twelve disciples arose, and went away, after they had healed all sick and diseased. And these disciples said, Come, let us go to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, let us speak to them, and give them precepts. And let us not fear the earthly death for the name of God, for God is with us, and nobody can overpower us because of this name of our row. Savior. And they are the people who have incensed God by their evil doing us and have polluted themselves by their many sins, and have made themselves like animals. Come, let us take courage and not be afraid of them, and let us rebuke them with true admonition. And they went to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and preached and taught, saying unto them, Believe ye in the Lord God, your Creator. But as to us, if we die for the name of Christ, we shall receive great reward in heaven, and we shall find gain and receive grace and reward and life from him. And if ye refuse to listen to our words and commands, the Lord our God will judge you. But if ye listen to our word and our commands, your sins will be forgiven unto you and God will desist from his wrath against Ro. You. If ye repent and take refuge with him, do not worship other gods, for the gods cannot save you. Do not go to the wife of another, man and do not kill the soul of your friend, that God may not kill you, and deliver you unto punishment in the hellfire. Behold, your end is near, and has arrived, and there will be hunger and pestilence, your country will perish and vanish and be as if it had never been created. And when the twelve disciples admonished them thus, the people became angry and enraged, then they hurled many maledictions against them and they seized the twelve disciples, and said to them, Why do ye give us commands, which we do not know? Behold, we shall kill you, let us see who shall save you today, O. Oh. From our hands, you who pride yourselves without having, a helper. Again the twelve disciples said to them, Trusting in the true faith and strengthened by the Holy Ghost, we do bless with its fruit, our children for our generation and forever, Amen. Give us that all this, which we have spoken with our mouths and our tongues may come to us from thy exalted dwelling in the sacred place of thy glory, this which we have asked thee, and we have prayed unto thee that our prayer may not be in vain, help us soon today on this day. Give us the true faith, glory and wealth and perfect grace with all peoples and kings and rulers of the earth. As thou gatherest the clouds and sheddest the water on the face of the earth, thus make rain and shed grace upon me in my face, that it be a coat of mail, and a protecting shield, like a hen that covers and shields her young under her wings, thus shield and protect me, under the cover of thy wings, with thy protecting shield, and with thy holy right hand, and with thy strong power protect me, against all thy punishment and thy wrath, and lead me out by thy fear, thy servant if it is thy will, show thy power and thy authority today on this holy day, heal this woman soon that they may know us and know that we have the true faith and are truly thy disciples, and that thou hast created and shaped us, and that there is truly no other God beside thee, in heaven above and on earth below. To thee belongs glory and praise for ever and ever, Amen. And after they had finished their prayer end, their request, God heard them from heaven, his holy place, and gave to the twelve disciples all that their heart requested, and they breathed their spirit into her ear, and washed her with the water of prayer, and she became whole. And she rose straightway, and fell down before them and exulted and rejoiced with great joy. But Satan left by the prayer of the twelve disciples, and thus they healed this woman. And likewise heal me, O Lord, from all disease of my soul and my body and keep away all demons from thy servant. And when all the kings and rulers and people saw that this woman was healed, one half of them, who did not recognize, perished and were destroyed forever and ever. Amen. But those who believed were saved from all disease and trouble of their souls by these names of Christ. Thus save me and protect me, O Lord, by the power extol these disciples of Christ. And let us destroy the gods and burn them with fire, and let us not worship any other gods besides theirs. And let us believe in their prayer that we may be saved from every chastisement of God's wrath which burns and blazes heavier than a flame of fire. And they gathered their gods and burned them with fire, and all their gods perished, and none among them was saved. Thus make perish, O Lord, all demons and evil spirits who eat flesh and drink blood, who crush the bones and seduce the children of men, drive them away, O Lord, by the power of these thy names, and by the prayer of thy holy disciples, from thy servant. And they were converted to the Lord God. And they were saved by the prayer of the twelve disciples, and became good and compassionate people, and their generations were blessed for ever and ever. Amen. Thus bless me, O Lord, by the power of these thy names, and by the prayer of the twelve disciples. 
Preserve me and protect me, thy servant forever and ever. Chapter 5 Doings of the Disciples in Sodom and Gomorrah And after that the twelve disciples arose, and went away, after they had healed all sick and diseased. And these disciples said, Come, let us go to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, let us speak to them, and give them precepts. And let us not fear the earthly death for the name of God, for God is with us. And nobody can overpower us because of this name of our Savior. And they are the people, who have incensed God, by their evil doing us and have polluted themselves by their many sins, and have made themselves like animals. Come, let us take courage and not be afraid of them, and let us rebuke them with true admonition. And they went to the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and preached and taught, saying unto them, Believe ye in the Lord God, your Creator. But as to us, if we die for the name of Christ, we shall receive great reward in heaven, and we shall find gain and receive grace and reward and life from him. And if you refuse to listen to our words and commands, the Lord our God will judge you. But if you listen to our word and our commands, your sins will be forgiven unto you and God will desist from his wrath against. 17 Vo. You. 6 If ye repent and take refuge with him, do not war. Ship other gods, for the gods cannot save you. Do not go to the wife of another, man and do not kill the soul of your friend, that God may not kill you, and deliver you unto punishment in the hell fire. Behold, your end is near, and has arrived, and there will be hunger and pestilence, your country will perish and vanish and be as if it had never been created. And when the twelve disciples admonished them thus, the people became angry and enraged, then they hurled many maledictions against them and they seized the twelve disciples, and said to them, Why do ye give us commands, which we do not know? Behold, we shall kill you, let us see who shall save you today from our hands, you who pride yourselves without having a helper. Again the twelve disciples said to them, Trusting in the true faith and strengthened by the Holy Spirit, we do not fear you, for ye will not be able to kill us, God will help us and deliver us from your hands today, but ye will be without strength or power. Ye are unclean and cursed, ye are in sin, and in bodies without souls. And they bound their hands and feet. And an angel of God descended from heaven and came to the twelve disciples at the time of midnight, saying unto them, Be not afraid, ye apostles and servants of God, select and strengthen by the Holy Spirit. And then they fell down on their knees. And then they prayed and asked and invoked these names, God, opened their fetters and their faces shone brighter than sun and moon before all people. And the twelve disciples said, See how the Lord our God has saved us and how our fetters have been opened by the power of our God. And even after they had seen that their fetters had been opened, none of them believed except one whose name was Lot. And again they said to the twelve disciples, Behold, we shall throw you into a fiery furnace, and then, let us see who shall bring you out of this fire. But these disciples said to them, Fire will be like cold water by the will of the Lord our God, and water will be like fire. Without the will of the Lord our God no fire can reach us or touch us. And Lot said to all the people, Do not do this thing, and likewise do not revile them. Come, come, let us listen to their word, and let us keep their commands. For truly they are the disciples and have the true faith, and I believe in their prayer, and will not walk in your works nor follow your traces. And when they heard these words of Lot, all the people became angry and said to him, Thou also, if thou believest in them, let us see, how they will save thee, they who cannot save themselves. But then Lot took courage, and united with the twelve disciples. And they heated a pit of fire, seven times. And the disciples said to Lot, Be not afraid and let thy heart not fear. Behold, God is with thee, he will save thee. And the twelve disciples prayed these names of Christ, and took sand in their hands, and cast it in the fire, saying, Make, O Lord, this fire like cold water. While all the people witnessed it with their own eyes. And they said, we must believe them to be keepers of magic art more than all other men, because they have escaped, and now come, let us give them poison. And they gave twelve full cups to the twelve disciples. But the disciples prayed to God and read these names of God, saying, Thou, O Lord our God and our Savior, destroy this poison by the power of these thy names, so that they cannot kill us and that these people of the land be abashed. And then they crossed their faces, and saying in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit they took it and drank it but all this tribulation did not harm them. The people tried them with all devices, but they could not overpower them. Then all the people said among themselves, Never until today have we seen such evildoers, whom no man can overpower and who have made our strong fetters like fire, and fire they made like cold water. And since we 
have punished them in all possible ways, and have not overpowered them, what shall we do unto them? Let us drive the twelve disciples away from our country. But they said to all the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, See the power of God, that saves us from your hands? But ye have no power or strength. And they went away from that land, and said to Lot, Come quickly, leave with us this town, for the end of this land has come. And Lot departed with his children and his wife. And the twelve disciples cursed the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, and shook the dust from their feet. And God made a flame of fire come down from heaven upon them. The eighty-eight gates of this land were extinguished, and exterminated for ever and ever. Amen. And all its people perished because of the curse of the twelve disciples, that it should be a witness for them. And no one among them escaped, it became a desert, as though it had never been. Thus extinguish and exterminate my enemies and adversaries, those of thy servants save me, O Lord, from thee, unclean spirits and the bad men who beset us and the wicked ones who beset us night and day, abash them and drive them away. From me by the power of these thy names. Keep me and protect me. And defend me and shelter me, thy servant. And Lot was a chosen one of God, and was blessed and saved because he believed in the prayer of the twelve disciples, and Lot was strong. In the true faith, Make me like him, O Lord, and save me and lead me out of every persecution and temptation, and evil speech and imprecations, by the power of these thy names and the prayer of the twelve disciples, be thy servant. Be merciful and gracious unto me, and do not be far from me at any time. Thou art my God and my Lord, protect me with thy strong right hand and strengthen me, thy servant. Chapter 6 The Disciples and 88 Kings and 140 Cities and after the twelve disciples had manifested these things, they went into all lands. And on the road they found eighty-eight kings and one hundred forty cities assembled worshipping other gods. And the twelve disciples came and said, In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, be abashed and ashamed all ye who worship other gods, but ye, who believe in the name of our God, shall be saved by these names of Christ. And after the twelve disciples had said this, the eighty-eight kings gathered against the twelve disciples and intended to kill them. But the disciples prayed then, raising their eyes and lifting their thoughts and stretching forth their hands toward heaven. And they said, United in one thought, exalt, praise and laud him. And they said, Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God. Lauded and praised be thy name forever. For we are thy servants who invoke thy everlasting name. And now, hear us, O Lord, grant the desire of our hearts and do not make us a derision of the enemy. Save us, O Lord, by the power of these thy names from this people and these kings and rulers and the evil doers, abash them before us and behind us. And destroy their power, make it like the grass of the roofs, and disperse their counsel and their gathering that they cannot overpower us. Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from all evil men and mourners who try to kill us, by the power of these thy names. Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from all evil and from the demon of noontide, and from calamity, by day and by night drive them away, and keep them far from us that they may not beset us, but be abashed by thy grace and mercy. Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names, from all intriguers and deceivers and oppressors, shatter their power and baffle their counsel, and paralyze their intentions. Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from those who frighten and endanger our soul and body, and from the serpent and the dragon, who pierces and bites with his teeth and his tongue and scratches with his claw drive him away and avert him from me, amen. Save us, O Lord our God, by the power of these thy names from all keepers of magic art, who corrupt the soul and who make poisons, with skin and pillows, with sweat and the nails of our hands, and the hair of our heads and the nails of our feet, and with the hair of our eye minus, brows and the hair of our clothes and the hair of our girdles, and where we eat and drink, out of our whole souls and bodies, destroy such poisons and make their power like ashes. May they be like cold water and like soft lead that nobody can overpower us, amen save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from all punishment by thy wrath and from reviling speech, and those who revile us, let them be detested with all men. And those who are wroth against us may God let the punishment of his wrath come upon them, amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from all the persecution of Satan, from seducing lust, from all the nets of death, and abash Satan that he flee and be ashamed and not approach us, and let his power be shattered and his counsel be destroyed that it be like ashes, amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from all intriguing men, and those who calumniate with words and tongue, and disperse their counsel and cut off their tongues. With thy sword, amen. 
Save us, O Lord, our God, by these thy names from the short days, from the evil day, and from the hours of temptation. Guard me and protect my soul and my body. And let me dwell in health and in peace, me, thy servant. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names. From all enemies who kill our souls, let their power be broken and their shield be shattered, and let their lances and arrows turn back upon themselves. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from a death and sin, from the fire eater, let us find grace and mercy before thee and let us not be ashamed before thee in the end, Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names, from disease and infirmity and from breaking of the bones of the body. And heal speedily by thy grace and mercy thy servant. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from the disease of Maccai and colic, and from diseases of the eye and the head. And avert them, O Lord, and remove them from me and raise me from my fall, me thy servant. Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names, from disease of our feet and from tears of our eyes. Strengthen our feet on the path of peace and enlighten the eyes of our hearts, and lead us and sustain us in the good. Give us, O Lord, knowledge without grief and knowledge without hypocrisy. And fill my heart with joy and gladness, that of thy servant. Amen. Save us, O Lord, our God, by the power of these thy names from all grief and calamity, and from all turpitude on earth and in heaven, let us do only honest things, and from eternal punishment and flaming fire, bestow on us joy on earth and life in heaven. Do not forsake me, thy servant. Grant us all this that we have spoken with, our mouths and have asked, and do not treat us like other people, but love us more than all human creatures, bless us and have mercy upon us, guard us and protect us and confirm us, thou who hast fastened heaven without a pillar and the earth on the water. Thus confirm me, O Lord, thy servant. By the power of these thy names and by the power of thy kingdom and by the strength of thy throne, thou art our Lord God. Save us from all evil on earth and from all condemnation in heaven. Guard us and protect us also from being overpowered by any bad man. Guard me also, thy servant, who speak evil with their mouths and voices and who plan evil in their hearts. From every heavy punishment in heaven, from all this save us by the power of these thy names and by the strength of thy throne and by thy exalted dwelling and by the glory of thy imperishable kingdom, by thy full and sweet everlasting kindness. Save me and defend me, in this world and in the coming world thy grace and thy mercy be upon me, thy servant. Amen. Be not far from us, but be with us always at every time, help us speedily today, on this day let thy kindness be revealed upon us. And thy will and thy pleasure be done, we cannot carry out this thing. But with thee everything is carried out by thy word and thy commandment, carry out on us thy great mercy and grace, and let thy salvation fill all our hearts with joy and gladness. And let all this that we have asked and that we have said, be done speedily, help us today on this day. Thus hear my prayer that I have asked from thee, I, thy servant. To thee be praise and laud for ever and ever, Amen. And after they had finished these words, God granted their request and all the desires of their hearts, because they believed, he heard their request. And God said to his disciples, my servants, strong in faith, come ye to me, for I have chosen you out of all human creatures. Take what I give unto you, grace more abundant than the dew of the skies and farther reaching than the width of the earth, I love and favor you exceedingly. But now speak and announce to all creatures, that whosoever believes in you, believes in me and shall be saved by your prayer, and if any one does not believe in you, behold, ye shall see today, how I shall punish them in my wrath, and I shall disperse them like sand on the earth, for even the heavens and the earth cannot bear my wrath, the whole creation shall fear and tremble and be terrified. When these disciples heard this, they thanked the Lord and Praise their God, and they said to all the people, Ye have refused to listen to our word and command. And straightway they were terrified and appalled by the fear in their hearts. And their gods were exterminated and rooted out forever, by this prayer of the names of Christ. And while the dis, Sipolis crossed their faces and prayed and read these names of Christ, the hands and the feet of these people became dry like wood, and their bows and arrows were broken and came back upon themselves. And their shields and lances were shattered, they were abashed and ashamed before them disciples. In the same way may the hands and the feet of all my enemies and adversaries be broken and their power be shattered and their eyes become blind and their mouths be bound and their throats be shut, may they not be able to speak, and may they be abashed and ashamed. And keep all the demons that beset me away from me and save me by the power of these thy holy names, and I have taken refuge in the prayer 
of the twelve disciples, I, thy servant. And the twelve apostles were saved by the power of these names of Christ from the hands of all the eighty-eight kings and one hundred forty cities who worshipped other gods. Thou who hast saved the twelve disciples, save me in the same way as them, O Lord my God, from the fiery furnace in heaven and from all evil on earth. O Lord, choose me and be pleased with my soul and my body, with me, thy servant then twelve disciples converted the eighty-eight kings and the one hundred forty cities and made them forsake their gods and brought them back to the Lord their God. Chapter 7 Hymn of the Disciples After he had revealed their true faith, and their uplifting prayer to all peoples of the earth, they thanked and praised the Lord, their God, they lauded and sang with one mouth, and they said in unison, Hallelujah, thou art clement, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art righteous, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art merciful, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art true, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, be thou gracious unto us, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art pure, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art without impurity of sin, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art praised, O Lord, and thou art blessed, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art awful, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art mighty, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art strong, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art wise, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art exalted, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art faithful, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art forbearing, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou givest life, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou raisest, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art knowing, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art the King of kings, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, thou art the God of gods, O Lord, Amen. Hallelujah, to thee belong praise and thanks forever and ever, Amen. Be we worship on our knees, and we believe in thy live. E name for ever and ever. Amen. Chapter 8 Christ shows his disciples the place of. And after all this had happened to the twelve disciples, they again asked our Lord Jesus, Christ and said to him, Behold, thou hast given us all that we have asked thee, and thou hast shown us the light which does not go out for ever and ever, and the joy which does not end for generation and generation. But now show us the sight of the judgment that we may learn pan perceive its likeness. And he said unto them, Better than to see it would be for you not to see this sight of the judgment. For if ye see the smoke of the judgment, your soul will fear and tremble, desist, do not see it. But thereafter he showed them a bubbling stream of fire, full from its top to its bottom, with reeking and fetid smoke. And when they saw the smoke of the judgment from a distance, tormenting pain came over them. And they fell on their faces and were terrified, weeping bitter tears, and they were like corpses forty days and forty nights. And after that Jesus Christ called the apostles, Rise and be not afraid, my servants. And they rose straightway and crossed their faces, and said, We have seen a stupendous thing. When we had fallen on our faces having seen the judgment, we crossed our faces, and we were like corpses. For when we had seen the smoke of the judgment we wept bitter tears, and we said, We are born in vain. And Jesus said unto them, Have I not told you that it would be better for you not to see this judgment than to see it? And the disciples of Jesus answered him, It is true, O Lord, that thou hast told us so. But now tell us, O Lord, how a man can be saved from this consuming fire. And the twelve disciples wept tears that were like a stream of ten winters. Then the disciples of Jesus said to him, Why hast thou created our father Adam in thy image and in thy likeness? Do not destroy the work of thy hands. But now tell us openly, O our Lord, O our Master, by what man can be saved from sin. For if thou art not merciful unto us, there is no good deed in us, but if thou art merciful unto us, we are called righteous and pure. Then will be known thy mercy upon us sinners and trespassers. But with us there is no one good and righteous and pure like thee, our Lord, our Master, for there is no man that does not sin, before thee, O our Lord. Twelve is there any wood that does not become putrid, or a man who would be found perfect, except thee? O Lord, do not punish me in thy wrath, and do not chastise me with thy punishment, be thy servant. For there is none that can stand before thy face, heaven and earth cannot bear thy wrath. But save us, that we may be saved from thy hand. Again Jesus Christ said unto his disciples, I shall tell you truly, but do not reveal these my words to anybody, and this is because he cannot bear or keep them. And when I tell you the secret, heaven will burn and earth will be fire. And to you everything is revealed, nothing have I concealed from you, and no one hold. 
I equal unto you except Mary my mother, who bore me in her womb, nine months and embraced me with her arm and nursed me from a breast sweeter than honey and salt, and except John. The virgin, who baptized me in the river of Jordan and who touched my head, which cannot be touched and which even the blaze of fire, cannot touch he took it in his hand, and except Abraham my beloved, with whom I made a covenant in the land of Kairobos, standing in a column of clouds, to whom I sent down a sheep as a ransom for his son Isaac, and to whom? I revealed secret mysteries, except also my servant, Moses the prophet with whom, I spoke voice to voice, and to whom I gave victory over the enemy and whom I set over the children of Israel seventy-two years. And the disciples of Jesus asked him that he might reveal unto them his secret name. After that, Jesus spoke to them, and said unto them, Take it. Now I give you these my names, keep them and guard them, that ye may be saved from sin. And every man who knows these my names, shall be saved, whosoever hangs them around his neck, and wears them and keeps them and reads them and, whosoever is purified and cleansed by his belief in them, shall be saved from many sins. And Jesus wrote his names with his own holy hand and gave them to his disciples. And while they read together, they found his secret name, and they rejoiced and exalted, saying, Lauded and praised be thy name forever. Thou, O Lord, our God, hast given us all this, namely thy holy name. And they invoked his name, saying, Raphon, 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 Rakon, Rakon, Rakon. Piss, 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 a flasso, a flasso, a flasso, melotios, 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 melios, 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 now, 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 sirakel, 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 penacel, 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 neros, 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 poros, 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 fellows, 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 linos, 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 eros, 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 and my nom which is greater than all, persevilios. And there is nobody who knows this my name, except the four beasts, and except the twenty-four elders of heaven, and except Mary my mother. And he said unto them, By these my names ye shall be saved, and your sins shall be forgiven to you. And whosoever invokes them like you and believes in this my name, shall be saved, and not be ashamed before me, and shall not see the smoke of the judgment, he shall be free from sin, his sins which he has committed from his childhood until his old age shall be forgiven unto him. And Jesus Christ said, Of all that is written in my books nothing is greater than these my words, and this prayer is greater than all my prayers, and whosoever believes in this prayer, I shall save him and shall be merciful and gracious unto him. I have sworn by my exalted throne, I have sworn by my pure dwelling, I have sworn by the stool of my feet, I have sworn by the head of Mary my mother, by the holy angels, my messengers. And I do not deceive by my word, and I do not delude by my righteousness, and I do not make impure my covenant. And as thou hast saved thy holy disciples, thus save me, O Lord, by this thy holy name. Cleanse me and purify me from my sin, me thy servant. And again Jesus Christ said, Blessed be he who reads this book, and blessed he who is purified by the prayer and who believes in this prayer. Blessed he who is anxious, when they read this prayer, to keep this prayer, I will make strong his power like that of a rock, and I will guard him by my power and strength, and I will love him like my disciples. Blessed he who wears this prayer, and hangs it around his neck, no evil spirit shall approach him and nobody shall be able to touch his body or his soul. And where this book is found, disease and infirmity and hunger shall not enter that house, and Satan shall be driven away and not approach that dwelling. Nor shall a thief steal, and as to his enemies no enemy or adversary of his shall be able to destroy or make fly away his power. And his house and his children shall be blessed, and the angels shall not stay away from him. Always all blessing of the prophets and apostles shall fill his house and the Spirit of God shall abide in it. But the Spirit of Satan shall stay away from it. And thou also, if thou believest in this prayer, everything shall be done unto thee by this prayer. And the water of prayer shall not be poured on the earth, for it is sacred and holy, the likeness of the blood of Christ. Let it be a cleanser of sin, and a salvation for the soul and the body of thy servant. And if thou, reading this, art purified, thou shalt find favor and love with all men, the mouth of the enemy and the thrust of lances shalt, thou overpower and thou shalt subdue the power of all thy enemies and adversaries, and nobody shall stand before thee, but all shall fear and tremble before thy voice. And when they see thy face, they shall flee, and hasten away, and thy speech shall be sweet toward the men who plan evil in their hearts against thee. And the mighty shall not overpower thee by their might. From all this he shall be saved, said the Saviour himself. As thou hast said in thy word, save me thy servant to him be praise and thanks for ever and ever, Amen. Chapter 9 Christ shows paradise to H.I.S. disciples. 
And after Jesus had said these things to them, again his disciples asked him, saying, Behold, we have seen the sight of the judgment. But now show us the sight of paradise that we may rejoice in thy grace and kindness. And Jesus said unto his disciples, Rise, let us go through the regions of heaven, and there I will show you wonderful miracles and astonishing things. And they went and came to the Blessed he who wears this prayer and hangs it around his neck, no evil spirit shall approach him and nobody shall be able to touch his body or his soul. And where this book is found, disease and infirmity and hunger shall not enter that house and Satan shall be driven away and not approach that dwelling. Nor shall a thief steal, and as to his enemies, no enemy or adversary of his shall be able to destroy or make fly away his power. And his house and his children shall be blessed, and the angel shall not stay away from him. Always all blessing of the prophets and apostles shall fill his house and the spirit of God shall abide in it. But the spirit of Satan shall stay away from it. And thou also, if thou believest in this prayer, everything shall be done unto thee by this prayer. And the water of prayer shall not be poured on the earth, for it is sacred and holy, the likeness of the blood of Christ. Let it be a cleanser of sin and a salvation for the soul and the body of thy servant. And if thou, reading this, art purified, thou shalt find favor and love with all men. The mouth of the enemy and the thrust of lances shalt thou overpower, and thou shalt subdue the power of all thy enemies and adversaries, and nobody shall stand before thee, but all shall fear and tremble before thy voice. And when they see thy face, they shall flee, and hasten away, and thy speech shall be sweet toward the men wobbling evil in their hearts against thee. And the mighty shall not overpower thee by their might. From all this he shall be saved, said the Savior himself as thou hast said in thy word, Save me thy servant to him be praise and thanks for ever and ever. Amen. Chapter 9 Christ shows paradise to H.I.S. disciples. And after Jesus had said these things to them, again his disciples asked him, saying, Behold, we have seen the sight of the judgment. But now show us the sight of paradise that we may rejoice in thy grace and kindness. And Jesus said unto his disciples, Rise, let us go through the regions of heaven, and there I will show you wonderful miracles and astonishing things. And they went and came to the regions of heaven, and they saw the land of paradise, brighter than the sun, and sweeter of smell than an offering of frankincense, even while it was still a far land, its fragrance was wafted to them. Milk and honey were flowing in it profusely like water, and vines were planted all over the land, and its twigs spread over the seven heavens, and its grapes were full of never-ceasing and imperishable delight. And when they saw this, they rejoiced greatly. And they said, We have seen today wondrous and marvelous things which we never saw before. O our Lord and our Master, thy word is true, and all thy ways are straight, thou art in truth the King, O Lord. And further they said unto him, Tell us, O our Master, to whom thou wilt give these things. And he pansward, I will give this paradise to those who do the will of my Father and to my humble ones from whose hearts there comes no violence, and to those who believe and guard this my name. And to you also, take it, for I have given it unto you as your inheritance. Then they thanked him and praised him, all united in singing a psalm. By this thy name, we have healed 187 sick men, by this thy name, we have dispersed 7037. Demons, by this thy name, we have converted the eighty-eight kings and the one hundred forty cities, by this thy name, we have been saved from all the people of Sodom and Gomorrah and have made our fetters like fire and have made the fire cool like water, and those who refiled our name have been exterminated for ever and ever. By this thy name, we have destroyed one hundred fifty-five idols, by this thy name we have converted the eighty-eight kings and the one hundred forty cities, and we have exercised great power on earth. Not by our own power have we done this, but by thy power. We believe in thy name which thou hast given us for conquering, and we worship thy power, who has strengthened us, to thee be praise and thanks for ever and ever, Amen. This book has not been written by the hand of men, but by our Saviour himself who wrote it with his hand. And if thou readst it, read it using holy oil, and if thou art not able to do so, read it using pure oil, and it will bring thee perfect grace, and salvation of soul and body, and victory over the enemy. May it bring perfect grace unto thy servant. And all will be done unto thee by this prayer for ever and ever. Amen. Amen.